All right, guys, so I just want to review Google because today Google had a monster day and we are possibly trading above this trend line. So I just want to show you. So as you can see, yesterday, let's see here, we had at 7 a.m. We were trading at 134.5. We blasted up to the moon at 139. As you can see, that's a 3.4% increase right there. We're going to find out tomorrow if we can break through that. The only problem is we have CPI at 8 o'clock tomorrow. It went from 139.1 all the way to, let's see, 138.3, pull back 0.55%. So not bad. That's an excellent day for Google. Let's just look at it in a bigger time perspective. In the last five days, Google found support at 130, which is amazing went all the way up to 139, which is 6% move right there. Excellent move. Now let's put things into perspective here. Trading on the three month, you can see that Google has been in this downtrend from 154 down to 140, up to 149, back down to 139, 145 making, and what am I doing here? It's making lower highs and lower lows, but now, if we can break out of this trend channel, which is right here at 139, this is judgment day tomorrow, with CPI would definitely be the push for this. If we can break out of this trend channel, we start to make higher highs and higher lows, which would be great. So we'll see here. So right here is your clear resistance. Let me just draw a rectangle so you can see it. This is a clear area of resistance right here. So this is a real telltale sign, 139 to 140, because you can see it right here as well. Let me just draw this right in this area. So anywhere from 139 to 140, if we can establish support above 140, then Google is actually something that is worth trading to the long term, meaning you're a bull. So just be very careful. Let's see if we can get something going here. We really need Google to pop up above 140 and hold. If it can pop up above, you get that movement coming up. And then what you need to get is the retest. So then it comes back down, retest that 140, and then start blasting back up towards resistance at 145, which you can see right here. Oh, hold on, it's not showing it for some reason. Let me just get rid of this real quick because then it'll, it'll actually show it. But Google definitely is possibly trading out of this trend line. You just got to be careful because you have CPI in the morning. So if you are going long, just be careful. Make sure it can confirm this level because the overall chart is headed bearish, as you can see right here. So we don't want to ignore the fact that Google has resisted these lines continuously. It definitely can pull back here. And looking at it on a big chart, you don't have as many buyers from this 138 up to this 139. So Google really has to prove something here. But we can't ignore the fact that the, the RSI is 46 on the one year chart. So there is room to grow, but do not be surprised if Google fails here and starts pulling on back down to 130. But there's definitely room for potential growth here where we could see a good long-term entry if we can hold that 140 position and then start making a move, breaking out of this trend channel then you can see Google really start getting, you know, ahead of itself. So it's definitely something I wanted to keep an eye on. I just wanted to bring that up to you guys because remember Google's all time highs is 153. So will we get a retest of that? We're not sure. We'll see. We've traded in this trend channel, but just be careful when these stocks trade in these trend channels, it's hard to break out of them. You need real catalyst to get out of this. So we'll see where it's going to go. You have this nice indecision candle right here, which was from 138 all the way down to 130. And now it looks a little bullish from 136 up to 139, but we got to break above this. This is the only way it's going to work. So let's give it some time. Let's see what Google does. And overall, Google has been bullish long term, as you can see. So now it's had this massive V-shaped recovery, and then we'll see if it continues to make new highs from here. But definitely have a big risk going each way. So let's just give it some time and see how it plays out. All right, so thanks for tuning into my channel, Trading Simplified. We hit 1.3 thousand subs, so that's awesome. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. If you feel like you learned something, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want to do. Check out my videos. I'm definitely making more on semiconductors, growth ETF, so be sure to check those out. Under the playlist, we have plenty.